Please check out my other video on differentiated Linux. On the top right corner, there is a pop-up. If not, check out my description below because you'll need it in this video. First, you'll go in the store. Once you go into the store, then you'll search for Edge. So this is one of the way you install apps. It's the most easiest way, but not all Linux are stable. So you'll see sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And you'll see here it says it's not from Edge. So all these are having different people doing different things. So like this bottom here, you can see Flat Hub. They are one of the third party that is doing it. They are trusted but they are not directly from the vendor itself and sometimes it's not updated so you need to check it out but it is stable it works so if it has issues then you need to download from their website itself you can use another method in installing so here you can see it works everything works edge works you'll see i can open it and in the start menu you can see microsoft edge so yeah, everything works like normal. So this is the easiest way to install apps. Most of the Linux desktop have it. If it doesn't have, then you can use another way. You can also uninstall this. You can delete everything or just the app itself, but leaving the configuration settings inside. You have another way to uninstall. It is by just going back to the store and you see the install here you can see all the apps that you can uninstall just go and uninstall whatever apps you want so most of the apps you can uninstall it from here just like how you install windows so this is going to install edge which one to install you can see linux deb what is that you can check what is Ubuntu, uh, what is Zorin OS based on? It's Ubuntu. And if you don't see Ubuntu, you see Ubuntu. What is based on is Debian. And you can see here Linux will show you DEB means Debian. So if you've seen my previous video that I said in the beginning of this video, you'll see that this Zorin OS is uh, it's based on Ubuntu. And sometimes you see at this Chrome, they'll show you Chrome, Ubuntu, or Debian. And some like VLC will show you Ubuntu. Or Debian so you see different selection usually I'll go for the level up so just go for Ubuntu is much more safer if you don't see Ubuntu then you use Debian so now inside here you see that you open it from the store itself over here they show local file meaning that you are installing from your file that you downloaded just now you'll see what version so it is the same way as the first but you're using direct from the source you can also uninstall from store but not all linux not as straightforward as this they may ask you options and whatnot all right so here is synaptic package manager you can install it from the store this is one of the way to also install this way is the most usable in most linux because this is a bit more stable than the rest it is a gui that does the same thing as coding but you'll have an interface for you to click on right it's the same as coding but this is a gui way you can install or uninstall using this it'll just do the background of coding for you without you needing to find it all right so let's say if i go inside here i want to uninstall this you can uninstall without inst uninstalling the whole thing or just the app itself so there is you need to change to all then you can see you uninstall together with the configuration all right or you can update it mark all but if you don't know to do it so if you don't want to do it then you just unmark if you want to do it just apply and click ok and that's it then you'll see it is doing the coding by itself you don't need to do any coding just the interface itself and that's it very simple this is how to uninstall apps you can do 
uninstall any apps in your system right now even though you're not using this if you're installing from store sometimes you install online this is also one of the way you can uninstall your apps so here you can see the source it will show you all the apps you have all the apps you don't have so yeah here's where you see everything so let's say if I try to search for this and this I do not have then you can find for this so you could just click on this and you could install it so you see what is installing what are the extras they are doing and yeah everything they'll install it for you you don't need to care about the coding so if you want to check out their home page you want to check out their update logs then you can search from here well certain apps if you want to find it might not have you need to know what is the name of that age uh, of that app you're trying to find to install not always their name is full name you need to find their actual name that they use to install it so for coding coding you need to know what code to put into your terminal or CMD so just install this all right arc open says all of it are different Linux core different Linux desktop so you should not touch this that's why I asked you guys to check out my differentiating Linux to understand before coming here and you'll know that Zorin OS is based on Ubuntu Ubuntu is based on Debian so you can check out for Debian or Ubuntu based All right so we'll just put here and install it put wide so yeah that's it it's very simple and you'll have your app so if you want to see this p sensor is actually for hardware uh, temperature to track your temperature to check your uh, processing it's similar to hw info for your windows all right so now extra details that you need to install you can just scroll down and see all these details but if you now want to uninstall just search online again find for the uninstall scroll down until you find it says uninstall like right here just copy it and paste it on the terminal again and it'll uninstall everything there that's it it's very simple so these are all the simple easy to use how to uninstall how to install and uninstall apps in linux please like subscribe and comment below is my previous videos to the center is my other videos and to the side of it is my playlist for different topics in different playlists you can check that out for my previous and future videos that is to come so thank you for watching famous cyber Ramos, signing out